Hey everybody, it's Deanna. It is November the 20th, 2012. Today is my 13 week weigh-in and my weight this morning was oops, 268. That is a loss of 2.2 pounds this past week and a grand total of 63.8 pounds. So I'm very happy about that. And as you can see, I'm not worrying about the surgery coming up because I have big faith in my Lord and Savior and my God. And I know that he's going to get me through this, that I don't have anything to worry about. So I'm not worrying about it. It's on him. Everybody always says, give it to, give it to the Lord and let him deal with it. And that's what I've done. I talked to him and told him, I know that he's going to make sure that I'm okay. So I'm leaving it in his hands. Now, the surgery. What I have is rare, but possible when you have gastric bypass surgery. Not only the ulcer, which was caused from the surgery and stress to my stomach tissue, was not had nothing to do with anything that I've eaten or drank, so I was glad to hear that. But what I have is called gastrogastric one word g a s t r o g a s t r i c fistula f i s t u l a if you want to look it up basically it's a passageway that uh has formed from my pouch to my old stomach so the PA called last night after I made my video and said that it will be a two to three day hospital stay, um, three to four incisions in my belly. Since I've lost so much weight, they're not sure if they can go in the same incisions from the lap band and the gastric bypass. They may have to make new ones. So I won't know that until I see the doctor and he looks at my, my stomach. But it's going to be basically the same recovery as the gastric bypass. Taking it easy, some pain medication, incisional pain, and stuff like that. And I don't have to do liquids a week before because she said I've lost enough weight where my liver has um, went down enough where I don't have to do that. So I was glad about that. It might be just nothing after midnight. So I'm happy. And they called today about the upper GI, but I have to wait and call them back because, praise God, Ron got a job. And he started this morning after over two years of looking and three years of not working. He finally got a call yesterday, so we're happy about that. We're not sure if it's seasonal um, or if it's a permanent full-time position. He's going to find out everything today. He was supposed to be there at quarter till 10, so he's there now. So I'll know more about that later, but praise God and thank you for everyone's prayers uh, for Ron to find a job. It's, we're hoping it's going to be a really good one, and it'll be inside. He won't be having to do like labor or anything like that. So he was happy and very nervous this morning, and we're of course very happy. And uh, Thank you again for all the prayers. So that's basically all I have. Um, I don't think there was anything else. I'm looking around to see if there was something. Oh, oh I did want to show you guys something. Oh, actually, I already showed you the little pen with Peppy on it, so that's cool. But anyhow, that's my update. I'm moving forward. I'm going to have the surgery. I'm going to continue my fabulous journey. I'm not letting this uh, depress me or set me back. I'm doing too well and I've come too far and I don't want to start worrying. Um, they did say this can come back again and require surgery again, but I'm hoping that they're going to get rid of it and it's going to go away and it's not going to come back. So thank you for, uh, excuse me. I got a runny nose this morning. Thank you for all your prayers and support. My YouTube family, I love you guys so much. And Jenny, I'm glad your surgery went well. I continue to pray for you every day. 
Jennifer and Mandy, I loved your makeup videos. I love to wear makeup, but I really don't know how to put it on. I never really learned properly, so I am going to get me a few brushes and a few little things that you guys mentioned, and I am going to try to do some makeup. We will see. I got my eyebrows waxed yesterday because they were driving me crazy. They're so blonde, I can't see them because I'm half blind. And, of course, you can't see my eyebrows, so i got to look on Mandy's video and see if she replied about where she found the uh, little template that you put over your eyebrows and uh, dust them to uh, pop them out a little bit. So, I'm going to try to do that. When I do, I'll probably post a couple of pictures and stuff. So, But thank you to all my new subscribers. I've gotten quite a few new subscribers. Connie, I'm so glad that you loved your box. I wanted it to be a big surprise, and I thought I made a video on the beautiful tag you made me, and I cannot find the video Rosemary asked me, so I'm going to go do that, and I will probably come back on. You will not see me, but I will show you guys my beautiful tag that Connie made me that I treasure forever. I love so much, and hi to Alfred. Ron loved uh, you guys' shout out to him at the beginning of the video. And I just, I hope everyone has a blessed day, and I probably won't mention it in the tag video, but I wish everyone a very blessed Thanksgiving. And just remember all those things that you have to be thankful for during this time and season. Rob Reno, as always, I love you, and I thank you so much for your love and support through my whole journey. And... I look forward to hopefully one day getting to meet you. Maybe you can come to Florida or maybe we can work it out to make a trip to Arizona. But I love you guys. God bless you. Have a very happy and blessed Thanksgiving day. Bye-bye.